Today's installment of Off The Cuff TV, we're in Seattle, trying out the many unique food places this city has to offer. Yeah, that's a spot. Just gives it a nice like texture, perfect for a day like this. We're gonna have food from all different types of cultures. We're gonna see that needle thing, and we're gonna become one with nature. We're doing this Off The Cuff style. I had to get out of town, just get away for a little bit, get some thinking done, some creative thinking. It feels beautiful outside, perfect weather, can't get better than this man. Sometimes things just don't have words to explain them, the pure beauty, pure nature. I appreciate you. I had to get some pho first thing in the morning. This place caught my eye off the street, so I had to get some pho, period. Look at that. From the carrots, to the cabbage, to the broccoli. Nice veggie pho with some shrimp. A little bit of everything in there. Wake up in the morning, once you get up, up and at it, get yourself a hot bowl of pho. Yeah, that's a spot. That's that spot. I ain't just doing this for my health, I'm doing this for my soul. When you're in Seattle, it is a must. You gotta get the clam chowder. And not just from anywhere. You gotta go right on the boardwalk, get Ivor's clam chowder. Man, this shit's ridiculous, bro. Fuck. We make our own bread bowls around here. I got the traditional clam chowder with the red clams inside. The reason I got red clams is because it's made with a tomato base. Just gives it a nice like texture at the end. Gives it a nice like full flavor. It's what you need right here, man. Just come chill out at the table by the coast, look out over the ocean, have some good seafood, a nice bread bowl from Ivers. On a hot day like today, I had to get something to cool off. I pulled up to Rachel's ginger beer to get a nice refreshing drink. I had to get the ginger beer float, blood orange ginger beer at the bottom, and then ice cream on top. Amazing combination. And you know I had to get a ginger beer to go. I got the guava flavored ginger beer, which is perfect for a day like this. We've been to the ocean, we've been to the boardwalk. We got a bread bowl full of clam chowder. Went and go got some warm and delicious pho. And then we cooled it off with a nice refreshing ginger beer. I think right now it's time to show everyone the low key. Show the people how diverse Seattle actually is. I pulled up to Chinatown on 5th Ave to this place called Ping's Dumpling House. They have some of the craziest dumplings you've ever seen. Just watch this. I brought these home with me because this might be a very intimate moment, something near and dear to my heart. You know I had to stop by Ping's Dumpling House, give me some steamed dumplings straight out of Chinatown, but I didn't just get any dumplings. I got the big boys, giant steamed dumplings with the filling of your choice. The bottom's not ripped so you can just see how perfectly it's made, just how soft it is. You gotta, you gotta take that first bite before the soy sauce just to get the real flavor of it. Stupid. 
it collects in the bottom like a pouch. It's crazy how that bread just soaks up the juice like that. And then that last bite just be hidden. I needed the flavors, I needed the essence of Chinatown. So I went straight to the source. What can I say? What can I say? Man, Seattle's a beautiful city, man. So diverse, so many cultures everywhere. So much art, so much expression. It's almost like a big melting pot of culture. You would think just because it's on the coast, it's just about seafood, but there's a lot of different flavors infused into the foods of Seattle. You know, gotta escape for a little bit, open your mind up to new experiences. You gotta love it.